हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर सविता शर्मा फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द थर्मो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट इन थिन फिल्म अंडर द पेपर थिन फिल्म साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस मॉड्यूल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न about what is thermoelectricity then what is the principle actual principle behind the thermoelectricity and what and how the this name thermoelectricity generates the next we'll study about the thin film based thermoelectrics and in the end we'll take an example and we'll see the development of metal oxide thin films for self power generating integrated devices using the principle of thermoelectricity so before going into the detail let's have an introduction in which let's see why do we need thermoelectricity or why do we need thermoelectric generators world's present demand for energy is causing a dramatic escalation of social and political unrest likewise the environmental impact of global climate change due to the combustion of fossil fuels and depletion of conventional energy resources is becoming increasingly alarming so one of the way to improve the sustainability of our energy resources the sources is through the scavenging of waste heat with thermoelectric generators home heating automotive exhaust and industrial processes all generate an enormous amount of unused waste heat which can be or which could be converted to electricity by using thermoelectric properties of some specific materials thermoelectric materials have gained interest of various scientists worldwide especially in the field of converting waste heat energy into electrical energy which can be utilized further for various applications thus by using a thermoelectric material waste terrestrial heat can be harvested which can be further converted to electrical power thin film based thermoelectrics the exploitation of these materials has led to novel idea of developing self powering devices where these devices are driven by the heat released as a waste from their working environment the thermoelectric materials are usually in the form of bulk thin film or low dimensional structures such as scutadiene type alloys since thin films are expected to have low thermal conductivity than the bulk materials due to the presence of strong phonon scattering at their interfaces thin film based thermoelectric materials have opened the possibility for improvement of thermoelectric efficiency and their applications in flexible devices moreover some thermoelectric materials such as bismuth selenide and bismuth telluride in the form of thin films have found applications in cooling at room temperature however their efficiencies are not still enough for commercial applications now let us see what is the principle of thermoelectricity thermoelectricity means the direct conversion of heat into electric energy or vice versa the term thermoelectricity is generally restricted to the irreversible conversion 
of electricity into heat described by the English physicist James P. Joule and to three reversible effects named for Seebeck, Peltier and Thomson, their respective discoverers. Thermoelectricity, thus also called as peltier seebeck effect, is a direct conversion of heat into electricity or electricity into heat through two related mechanisms. The first one is the Seebeck effect and other is the Peltier effect. According to Joule's law, a conductor carrying a current generates heat at a rate proportional to the product of the resistance denoted by capital R of the conductor and the square of the current which is capital I. The German physicist Thomas J. Seebach discovered in the 1820s that if a closed loop is formed by joining the ends of two strips of dissimilar metals and the two junctions of the metal are at different temperatures and electromotive force or voltage arises that is proportional to the temperature difference between the junctions. A circuit of this type is called as thermocouple. A number of thermocouples connected in series is called a thermopile. In 1834, the French physicist Jean C. A. Peltier discovered an effect inverse to the Seebeck effect. If a current passes through a thermocouple, the temperature of one junction increases and the temperature of the other junction decreases so that heat is transferred from one junction to the other junction. The rate of heat transfer is proportional to the current and the direction of transfer is reversed if the current is reversed. When two metals are placed in electrical contact, electrons flow out of the one in which the electrons are less bound and into the other. The binding is measured by the location of the so called Fermi level of electrons in the metal. The higher the level, the lower is the binding. The Fermi level represents the demarcation in energy within the conduction band of a metal between the energy levels occupied by electrons and those that are unoccupied. The energy of an electron at the Fermi level is minus W relative to a free electron outside the metal. The flow of electrons between the two conductors in contact continues until the change in electrostatic potential brings the Fermi levels of the two metals that is W1 and W2 to the same value. This electrostatic potential is called as the contact potential represented by the symbol phi12 and the contact potential is given by E into phi12 equals to W1 minus W2 where E is the charge which is equals to 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulombs. If a closed circuit is made of two different metals, there will be no net electromotive force in the circuit because the two contact potentials oppose each other and no current will flow. There will be a current if the temperature of 
one of the junction is raised with respect to the other junction there is a net electromotive force generated in the circuit as it is unlikely that the two metals will have fermi levels with identical temperature dependence to maintain the temperature difference heat must enter the hot junction and leave the cold junction this is consistent with the fact that the current can be used to do mechanical work the generation of a thermal electromotive force at a junction is called the seebeck effect after the estonian born german physicist thomas johann seebeck the electromotive force is approximately linear with the temperature difference between the two junctions of dissimilar metals which are called as thermocouple for a thermocouple made of iron and constantin constantin which is an alloy of 60% copper and 40% nickel the electromotive force is about 5 millivolts when the cold junction is at 0 degree celsius and the hot junction is at 100 degree celsius one of the principal applications of the seebeck effect is the measurement of temperature the absorption or release of heat at a junction in which there is an electric current is called the peltier effect the peltier effect the name is there after the french physicist jean charles peltier both the seebeck and peltier effects also occur at the junction between a metal and a semiconductor and at the junction between two semiconductors the development of semiconductor thermocouples for example those consisting of n type and p type bismuth telluride has made the use of the peltier effect practical for refrigeration sets of such thermocouples are connected electrically in series and thermally in parallel when an electric current is made to flow a temperature difference which depends on the current develops between the two junctions if the temperature of the hotter junction is kept low by removing heat the second junction can be tens of degrees colder and act as a refrigerator peltier refrigerators are used to cool small bodies they are compact have no moving mechanical parts and can be regulated to maintain precise and stable temperatures they are employed in numerous applications as for example to keep the temperature of a sample constant while it is on a microscope stage thermoelectric materials are of interest for applications as heat pumps and power generators the performance of thermoelectric devices is quantified by a figure of merit that is z into t where z is a measure of a materials thermoelectric properties and t is the absolute temperature a material with a figure of merit of around unity was first reported over 4 decades ago but until recently there has been only modest progress in finding materials with enhanced zt or the figure of merit values at room temperature the figure given here shows the schematic diagram of the generation of the thermoelectric voltage in which when there is a heat load at one end and there is a junction 
of the pnn type semiconductors then there is a generation of voltage at the other end now in the last section of this module let us take an example of the two thermoelectric materials and let us see the development of metal oxide thin films for self power generating integrated devices based on the principle of thermoelectricity so in the present module the two thermoelectric materials which are taken are aluminum doped zinc oxide that is alzno and nickel oxide which is nio thin films have been studied aluminum doped zinc oxide and nickel oxide thin films were deposited over corning glass substrate by pulsed laser deposition technique or the pld technique using ceramic aluminum doped zinc oxide target and nickel metal target respectively the thermoelectric studies have been carried out using an indigenously developed thermoelectric measurement setup low vacuum of the order of 10 raised to the power minus 2 tor was created in a cavity where sample is mounted using a rotary pump in order to avoid condensation on the sample under low temperature conditions the two ends of the sample were kept at different temperatures and the temperature was measured using thermocouples after maintaining the temperature gradient at ends of the sample the voltage generated was measured using the multimeter which is shown in the given figure 2 the given figure 2 shows the indigenously developed thermoelectric measurement setup in which you can see that the two materials are taken and then the temperature gradient is generated into a thermoelectric voltage figure 3a and b show the variation in thermoelectric voltage generated as a function of temperature gradient at the ends of the aluminum doped zinc oxide and nickel oxide thin films respectively it can be observed from figure 3a that with the increase in the temperature gradient from 5 kelvin to 30 kelvin the value of induced thermoelectric voltage is found to be increasing from 0.3 millivolt to 1 millivolt with the increase in the temperature gradient from 25k to 55k the seebeck coefficient is found to be 31 microvolts per kelvin and approximately 20 microvolts per kelvin for aluminum doped zinc oxide and nickel oxide thin films respectively the power factor and the figure of merit of the thermoelectric material are estimated from the equations 1 and 2 the equation 1 gives the power factor which is equals to sigma into s square from the second equation we can estimate the figure of merit which is z into t which is equals to sigma into s square into t divided by k where z t is figure of merit at 300 kelvin s is the seebeck coefficient sigma is electrical conductivity t is temperature and k is thermal conductivity the figure 3 shows the variation in induced thermoelectric voltage as function of temperature gradient maintained at the two ends of in the first part aluminum doped zinc oxide and in the second part nickel oxide thin films 
we can see from the figure a that with the increase in the temperature gradient from 5 kelvin to 30 kelvin there is a increase of the temperature gradient there is a increase in the thermoelectric voltage similarly from the figure b we can see that in the case of nickel oxide thin film the temperature gradient as the temperature gradient increases the thermoelectric voltage increases the c by coefficient can be calculated from both the graphs and are found to be 31 microvolt per kelvin for the aluminum doped zinc oxide thin film and 20 microvolt per kelvin for nickel oxide thin films. All measurements were carried out to calculate the electrical conductivity of the aluminum doped zinc oxide and nickel oxide thin films at room temperature using van der Pau method. The value of sigma was found to be 902.87 Siemens per centimeter and 0 0.096 Siemens per centimeter for aluminum doped zinc oxide and nickel oxide thin films respectively. Since the power factor depends on the square of the C back coefficient, thus, even with the decrease in electrical conductivity, there is a significant increase in the power factor which is suitable for a good thermoelectric material. Thus, aluminum doped zinc oxide and Nickel oxide thin films are found to yield the maximum power factor of 8.67 into 10 to the power minus 5 watts per milli k square and 38.4 into 10 to the power minus 10 w per mk square respectively. Also, the figure of merit of aluminum doped zinc oxide thin film is 0 0.023 which is higher than the obtained for nickel oxide thin film as 640 into 10 to the power minus 10 W per mk square. The obtained value of power factor is slightly lower than the value reported in literature on aluminum doped zinc oxide thin film but it is higher than the other metal oxides reported for the same application. The obtained higher value of power factor and figure of merit in aluminum doped zinc oxide thin film may be attributed to the higher electrical conductivity of the film despite of the same order of C back coefficient of both the thin films. Thus, aluminum doped zinc oxide thin film is proved to be better thermoelectric material as compared to nickel oxide thin film as we saw above that the maximum power factor or the figure of merit of aluminum doped zinc oxide thin film is higher than obtained for nickel oxide thin film. So students let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. First of all, we saw that what is the need of this thermoelectric generators. That why today we require the generation of electricity using heat or the thermal energy. Then we saw that what is actually is the thermoelectricity and what is the thermoelectric effect. Then we saw that how the thin films can be used as thermoelectric generators 
Next, we studied in detail about the principle on which thermoelectricity works. Then we saw that there are three effects which are basically important in this thermoelectric generators, which are Peltier effect, Seebach effect, and the Joule's heating. Then in the end, we took an example of nickel oxide thin film and the aluminium doped zinc oxide thin film towards the development of self-power generating integrated devices on the principle of thermoelectricity. We found out that the aluminium doped zinc oxide thin film is better for the generation of thermoelectricity as compared to nickel oxide thin films. Thank you.